Okay, so what we have here is the nose cone fairing on a lift propulsion system for the e-foil. Um, the nose cone fairing consists of two pieces, uh, one on one side and one on the other. There's three Allen key bolts that go in. The one on the very front is larger than the other two. So you're going to need two Allen keys, um, you know, with two different size wrenches to make this happen. Um, the only other weird thing is on the opposite side of the cone from what you're looking at now, there's the water intake for the ECU cooling. Um, and getting that through can be kind of a bugger. Um, so we're just going to loosen up all these bolts, slide the fairings off. The back end of the fairing is actually keyed into the front of that motor. Um, there's two slots on either side that kind of key in. You can see on the inside of there. Um, it just kind of slides right on. Yeah, see those two little keyed areas? It just slides on like that. Um, so you're going to take both the old ones off, get the new ones in place, and then bolt them on. The sniffle is getting that uh, water line through the other end of the fairing. So you can see on this one, this is the other side of that fairing with the water hose. This one was damaged in shipping. Um, you're just going to reach your hand back there and pull that hose out. Um, the spring is just to keep it from getting abraded on that corner. It doesn't really do anything else, just to, you know, to keep it from getting uh, punctured. Um, the way we're gonna get this through that hole, which is actually hard to do, is you're gonna take a piece of packing tape or similar tape and wrap it around on itself on the very end of that uh, hose, just like this. It doesn't have to be pretty, just get it on there kind of twist the end of it and then pull that through the inside to the outside of the new um, cone fairing and just use the end of the packing tape to kind of slide slide it through that hole. Um, it's going to end up going in too far and then you're going to have to push it back in. It's actually kind of tricky to push it back in, but you want to just make sure it's as flush as possible. You know, when Lyft installs these, they pull the hose through with itself and then cut it so it's perfectly flat. It'll take, it'll just take a second um, for you guys to do it. If you pull it through and you can't get it um, flush enough, just start over. Put new packing tape on it, pull it through, and the whole thing. So like, if I take my fingers and I try and push that in, it's actually pretty tough. So the easiest way to do it is go from behind the fairing and pull the, yeah, just like this, kind of pull, pull that through. You might be able to push it in. Um, it's hard though. Yes, it's going, but it takes a lot of force. You can kind of pull it from the backside. Just watch it. So that's perfect right there. Um, yep, get it, get it right. Line, line it up on the mast. Make sure that that piece of um, plastic that's stuck to the mast there, that little white piece that's actually stuck to it, that needs to be fully under the new fairing piece. Slide it on the motor. Make sure it's lined up. Do the other side and then bolt the two pieces together with the hardware that comes with the new fairing pieces. And that's it, you're ready to rock and roll.